Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. It screwed up my earphones and everything. You pulled on it, and uh, it's not the uh, it's not the best. Hold on a second. Let me uh, let me do that. Is that your new system? Huh? Is that no. Your new thing? No. I, I I for some reason. Uh oh boy. Well anyway. Uh, hello everybody. How are you? I'm not well. I just I just had the trots before I went on the air. Huh? Well, uh, you know I had the trots before I went on the air. I'm sorry. You know, can't help it. So I took some Imodian. So I'm hoping that after taking the Imodian, I won't have the trots later on in the show. But if I do, you guys are going to have to talk among yourselves. Then you what, what, the wait a minute, i got to turn on the microphone here. What? Then you better open up the boards now. Uh, be, better, <laughs> better open up the lines yeah, now? Why yeah. should I open up the lines now? Because if you now? have to run to the bathroom, I want to talk to somebody. Well, I may have to do that. Well, go do we'll, it. We'll, turn we'll, it. We'll see what happens. You know, you wear your hat like that and they can't see your it's eyes. It's all right. It's fine. It's no, it's I not. It. Don't no, tell it's not. me what. I, I'm the boss of this show. This is my body. <laughs> what, what's my, left of it? My broken body. What's left of it? Let's see here. Let me let me show. When I first got married, I got. Um, I want. Is there is there a warranty? Uh, <laughs> it's passed. I, I, when I, I when I when I married you, I bought into uh, a fairly decent working human being no because i had broken my arm before we got married yeah but that was already fixed by the time we got <laughs> married that was just a broken arm no yeah but now she's got what do you got the back and the, i got the pinched nerve going down my arm yeah my lower back yeah my knee yeah although i have to tell everybody i'm taking the subway now but the steps are so painful okay but the knee the knee that's it is that it? It's enough. That, uh, there isn't anything else that bothers you? No, it's enough. Mm. And then in the middle of all of that, you had a bad stomach, so you had to have that taken care of. You're, the that was years ago. It, no, it was while, I think it was while we were married. Yeah, but it was about six years ago. Now, wait a minute. You should remember when it was, because that's when I didn't pick you up from the hospital, right? No, that was my spine. And that was your spine. The thing I love about women... Is they remember everything you did wrong. That was a major wrong. No, no. I mean, that's a major wrong. That 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 gives me permission to keep that as number one for the rest of my life of things that you didn't do. Uh, uh, we could go through this. This was a major surgery I had, and he tells me to take a taxi. Well, first of all, they don't let you out of the hospital. Where was I living at the time? It doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter? They're letting me out of the hospital, and I'm all by myself. Huh? I'm coming out of the hospital, and I'm all by myself. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Because you wouldn't come up and pick pick me up. I see. Okay. Well, I could tell my side of the story. My my side of the story is I lived all the way downtown, and Mount Sinai Sinai is all the way uptown, and all that would happen is I would come all the way up to Mount Sinai, just to say, come on, let's go to have they, us get in a cab and they, go downtown. They don't let you out of the hospital by yourself. Um, yeah, okay. Well, you didn't say that to me. I absolutely did. Mm-hmm. I had to call the guy that takes me to work every day. I had to call him to come to take me down to your house. And he was all the way out at the airport yeah. when I called him. So all the things that I did for you when you broke your knee don't count. 
Well, that was limited to like about oh, four I, or five I, days. Oh, four or five days? And according to one of my bosses, I'm he sorry. said that it's in the... I'm he sorry. Said, he said it's I'm in. sorry. Four or five days? He said that it's Boy, in... Boy, that's the last time I ever do anything for you. Four or five days? It was weeks and weeks and weeks. He said that it's in men's DNA to... I don't care what your guy said. He's wrong. No, he's not. It was weeks and weeks and weeks that I was waiting hand and foot on you. Alex, can you get me my tweezers? Okay, I'll get, I can't, I can't get out of the bed because my knee is, you know, I did everything. I was good about it. I didn't great. complain about you it. You were great. And you didn't say, you know what we're doing with this? You've been so good, we're going to forget the time you didn't pick me up from the <laughs> hospital. But no, because you, as a woman, hold that in your your bank, as it is. You, you, yeah. That's right. Yeah. And That's they, right. So that I could, be, I could be on my deathbed, and she could go, I know you're in great pain, but remember when you didn't pick me up from the hospital? And I'll remember that till the day I die. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you were you were very good when I broke my knee. Yes, yes, and 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 uh, I I uh, certainly uh, have uh, picked you up at the hospital ever since then because I don't want to be accused of it. I've gone over in driving rains to well, pick you up because we live near the hospital. <laughs> we live closer to the hospital. Very close. We don't live that close to the hospital because what happens is if you take a cab to our hospital, which is Mount Sinai. Um, uh, it, it, the the uh, traffic getting there depends on when you're going. In front of that, it, 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 going to that hospital, that hospital, it all traffic just jams up terribly. So a lot of ambulances. Yeah, but that is our hospital. That I always pass that hospital. And I go. That's probably where I'm going to die. That's right. It's exactly where you're. Probably going where to I'm going to die. Yeah, me too. You know, I would rather, I hope, you know, we there was this uh, kid from One Direction and his sister, who was 18, died of a heart attack, okay? But she was home, <laughs> you know, and I think that was at least kind of nice, you know, she was at home, she wasn't lying in some bed, hooked up to machines, slowly ebbing away. I don't want know. to be hooked up to machines. Oh, no? No. Yeah. Just let me go. Yeah, but who's going to be in charge of you not being hooked up to machines? I am. It's in my will. It's Is it in your will? Yeah, it's in my will. Mm. Well, suppose we don't pull the will out till you're dead. I'll have it with me. I'll have really? a copy tattooed on my body. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Jeez. Almighty. Oh, yeah, I did a nice job of balancing the camera tonight while you were not there. And I only have like about five years left. What? 2023. Yeah. Uh, uh, We're what, at 19? You, you know, I love, I love Larry Bubbles Brown, but he can go <laughs> fuck himself, okay? Because I've had to live with this one because of Larry Bubbles Brown. Because on this program, on one of the times we were talking, he said that he was, uh, you can go online to this site and you can put in a whole bunch of information and what will come out the other end is, is the exact date when you're going to die. The exact date when you're so going to die. So while they're talking, I go in there and I answer all the questions and it comes out January something, 2023. I couldn't remember what mm -hmm. day it was, but it's January 2023. Now suppose you die before then. Are you going to complain? I don't think so. Do you want your money back? Uh, no money was purchased. No. Yeah, my stomach seems to be settling down now that I Good. took the Imodian, I Good. think. But folks... You may have to talk among each other at some point during the show. Why does that happen just before I go on the air? I remember once I got a bad case of the trots at Sirius, and I had to, we had, I had Albert put on records so I could run off to the bathroom, because that's when I was really having a bad bout of irritable bowel remember syndrome. Remember Garrett? Oh, Garrett, that was, that was the classic <laughs> story of all time. <laughs> Garrett, who was my board op on my show, uh, he was no longer working with us. He had gone over to work with... Um, no, he was still working with you. No, he wasn't working no? with us. No, because so, at some point, I had to get rid of Garrett because he just... He would start going into these fits, you know, uh, where he was right and he would start yelling and screaming and getting apoplectic and everything like that. And I would just go, okay, that's, you know... I don't, I don't, uh, I don't need that. And it got to the point where I had to get myself another board up. Okay. Um, so anyway, 
but he was, he was over on the, his way to work. He, he, we had already made up and something. He yeah. was off on at his, another show, and he was on his way to work. I can't remember what show he was doing. But he was on his way to work, work. and he, he got and and we've all had this happen where you suddenly get the trots. And right? it's so bad. You it's can't so hold bad. It He's on the subway. It's so bad. He gets off at a stop to try and see what he can do about you know finding a bathroom and there's no bathroom down there. there's no bathrooms in the subways and even if there were god what would they be like well they used to have them didn't know they didn't they did too they're all locked up they're still there really i don't yeah. I, I don't remember them oh yeah they're locked up now they've been locked up for there years there is one on one, sta one station one station stations had them but well, but hobos and all kinds of people started well going. anyway yeah it would be disgusting <laughs> So he gets he, off. He, he, he had nowhere to shit, and he couldn't hold it back any further. <laughs> and, he and he pulled his pants down, and he shit on the subway uh, platform. And it got all over his pants. And it's got all over his pants. And he's on his way to work. And he comes to work <laughs> shit with over. shit in his pants. <laughs> and um, <laughs> he goes up, and uh, upstairs there was a executive's shower. washroom. Shower? It was a shower. <laughs> And he just said, fuck it, you know, I, it, it's open, you can go in there, so I'm gonna use, and he went in, took a shower, and I think he washed his pants off, oh, wore God. his pants wet on whatever show he was doing. <laughs> but uh, when he told the story. It was so funny. It was so funny because you just imagine this guy in the subway shitting his pants. <laughs> Can't and hold it and I always have that fear because it, you know you have this thing called a shark. And when it comes, yeah. And when it comes, there's that pain that's so bad. <laughs> no, not my case. Now, I have, I have the, um, I have, have IBS, but it hasn't really been bothering me uh, because I've been taking. I found they had this pill that they gave me that was really great for stopping IBS. You know, so I would take it for like 15 days. And it would stop the IBS. And then it, I, was, I was good for a couple of months till it happened again, and I needed more. Well, uh, I used to have to get what they call prior authorization for this because it was an expensive pill, and I got prior authorization all the time. So I, my doctor was giving me a monthly supply, so I had it backed up here for a while. All of a sudden, they wouldn't give me the pill anymore because the company raised the price from what was $300, where I was then paying 75 or something like that, to $2,000. Now, you remember that guy who, who did that with an AIDS yeah. pill? They went crazy with him, but they don't get crazy with this company, the Zyfaxin company, who, who suddenly one day took it, I remember it was 300 because I bought it once without having a copay on it, and it was 300 and the next time I went in, I said, well, okay, I need it. Uh, how much is it going to cost me? I figured it was going to cost 300 I really need this shit. I'll do it, all right? And the guy said, uh, well, you want to see? And he, he wrote it down on a piece of paper because he had to go over to his You computer. know what they do also? After the 18 years when it's supposed to go to generic, yeah. they add a couple of things. They change a couple of molecules. They, they change a couple of molecules and reclassify it, so then they get another 18 years out of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So so anyway, he he writes down on this piece of paper how much it was something like two thousand fifty dollars or something. I went, are you out of your mind? He says, yeah, that's what they're charging for that. Wow. I said, all it does is stop you from shitting for Christ's sake. You well, know that that shot that I get twice a year now that's twenty five hundred dollars. Really? Yeah, one yeah. shot. But I feel like I have to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Oh we'll turn on the, the board and, and, no, and, and no. I'll take over. You'll take over. I'll take you, over. You don't know how to answer the phones. Well, you get everybody on the phone and everybody call in as soon as he opens uh, up. No, I won't open up yet. I'm, I'm fine. It's it just 10 it just subsided. It just subsided. It's ten. It's ten nineteen. I'm going to wait till I talk to. They're all on and they can talk to each other. If it's I have 10 to run to the bathroom. It's what? Ten nineteen. Uh, who hired you to be the time signal? I think I'm a good time. Well, when singer. you give the time signal after you say the time, go 10, go 20. Go beep. Beep. Yeah. At the town sound of the tone, the time will be 1020. Beep. beep. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, don't you feel better? Mm -hmm. well, yeah. Nobody's watching us tonight. Oh, well, they don't I don't care. I don't give a shit. Well, I do give a shit actually. Um, but anyways, the price went up like crazy. I mean, what? That's 
that's almost uh, uh, let's see three uh -huh. uh, it's uh, maybe four times five times the so price what did they say the other night that there's two countries that are that make such big profits off of oh the United States and the uh, Netherlands uh, or New Zealand New Zealand no, they're the only two countries that allow advertising of drugs on television. Well, it wasn't until the the late the late seventies um, that that they allowed uh, advertising. Mm -hmm. You couldn't even advertise for a doctor. Uh, there was a time when lawyers couldn't advertise. That's right. Yeah, but anyway, so uh, so uh, we you know we we have this, uh, but it, it, anyway, this drug which was a lifesaver for me, it just completely fucked me over. And I, I kept getting the IBS and I would dole out these pills and count how many I had left. I mean, it was terrible. And finally, I, for some reason, I don't know why, but I went out and I bought these gummies, these uh, and, and probiotic gummies. And that helps. And I started taking them and I noticed I wasn't getting the trots anymore. Good. You know, unless I ate certain yeah. things that triggered it, like chicken skin. Chicken skin. Chicken skin's my bad one. But, uh, I have not really had IBS since I've been taking a regular dosage and I keep forgetting to take the pills. I usually take the gummies because they're more fun uh, um, uh, since I've been taking the probiotics. Uh, you know, but I haven't taken them in the last couple of days so I probably need to run over and put some in my stomach. Okay. But the probiotics which are, you know, in, in the case of probiotics, it may be, you know, 15 bucks a bottle is the answer to, to IBS. And, and then I read, I went online and I read that, yes, probiotics have been seen to be a, an lever Good. for this uh, particular uh, okay. ailment. So how have you been? Well, it's not been a good week. It's not been a good week. Well, I you know, I it, yeah, can I say, well, go ahead. You asked me. Yeah, I asked you. Well, I started taking subway steps. I've done it twice. Oh, good for you. Look it at is us. We're walking. so Look. painful. <laughs> it is. Well, I, you can always use the handle and kind of. I do one step at a time down. and I go yeah. on the side. Yeah. I go down by the side. Oh, boy. They look at you and oh, say, God. And there's a line behind me and I let them go. And then at, I go back. Then they go, Look at the old lady. It's true. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was looking at the uh, I was looking at the video last night that I made when I went out to Shecky's, and uh, on cer certain shots I look really old, and other shots from straight ahead like this I look young. Well, you look better. I look better. Sideways I look old. This way I look better. You should play the tape. And Shecky, I did last night. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, because you didn't go to work today, so that's, you didn't see the show. That's true. That's uh, true. But I played hooky today. Yes. It was nice. Yeah. Oh, I like uh, yeah. D-Day weekends. Um, yeah. Boy, I'm having a hard time in my stomach right now. Uh, let me see here. Uh, oh, listen. I got a little, little piece of happy news for you. Guess who got his job back after accusations of sexual malfeasance? Well, it wasn't our senator. No. What? Oh, it wasn't Al Franken. No, it no, wasn't Al Franken. No, Al, well, Al Franken gave up his job anyway. He, he gave up too easy. He gave up too easy. He was supposed to go to a committee. Yeah, but what I figure Franken did was he just said, I don't need this shit. But he was a good senator. I mean, he was needed. Yeah, and I wasn't crazy about Al Franken, and then he became a senator. And he was quite good. And he was, and I didn't like him because he used to beat me at pinball. And, uh, <laughs> but he was good. Uh, but he, he, he became the most leftist voice yeah. in Congress. I mean, forget about it. Bernie Sanders was a piker compared to Al Franken. And he was very good at, at his uh, at what he did, you know. And I, I, I really uh, was sad to see him go. That's why I will never vote for Kirsten Gillibrand, because she's the one that forced him out. Um, or as I call her, the cunt, okay? Do not even think about listening to anything Kirsten Gillibrand has to say. There are a lot better women right now who are running for office. A lot of these people are just going to begin to, to fade out. Yeah, but there are a couple of them. I mean, like, uh, you know, I mean, Kamala Harris is, She's good. is very good. And, you know. Who was the one in the snow who 
She's good. The one in the snow? She gave her, her opening that she was going to run for president in the snow outside. No, oh, I'm trying to remember now. Uh, no, that wasn't Kamala Harris. That was, oh boy, I'm trying to remember. There's so many of yeah, them now. Yeah, anyway. But anyway, so um, a couple of months, about a, about a half a year ago, uh, this guy was accused of sexual malfeasance, and there was a inv oh, the investigation. No. No? Well, the, the director, yeah, too. Yeah. There was a, a case of malfeasance against James Gunn, who's right. the director of the Guardians of the Galaxy films, and he was prepping the third film, and they fired him from it because of some uh, tweets he posted 10 years yeah, ago about, uh, you know, and they, they they were actually goofy. He was making fun and it was about some gay stuff and whatever. Anyway, and he, he then promptly apologized for it and said, hey, you know, it was meant as a joke and I, I didn't think anybody would be that upset by it, but if anybody's upset, I'm, I apologize. The movie company, which in this case was, um, who does the Marvel pictures, Disney, out, fired him, get out of here. Then the cast started complaining. They and said they wouldn't do some it. Some of them said they wouldn't do the film without him. Because he's the guy that wrote the original script, to wrote, directed the original film, and he, he you know, anyway. And they're good, they're good. Got his job back. Disney decided that they would let James Gunn direct the picture. So that's the first turnaround, but this is the other turnaround. These things are starting to turn around, and what we should do is say that in the case of uh, Disney, and in the ca in this case, Nat Geo. Well, the question also wait is- Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That, that uh, uh, we should still say, hey, why were you jumping to judgment before you had all the facts? And what's the difference between a rape and a pat on the butt? I mean, they're two very different things. Yeah, yeah. Rape is much nicer. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Uh, oh, I know, they're going to hold that against me now. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the guy who got his job back, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Uh, good, I didn't know we lost it. Yeah, no, they, they he had his Cosmo show sitting there. They weren't going to run it. They took Star Talk off uh, Nat Geo. You're kidding. And uh, it was off for many, many months. Uh, and uh, now they've announced uh, it, they will return to the air. Uh, for the remaining 13 episodes in April, that's Star Talk. And uh, then there is the Cosmo series, which I think is produced by Seth MacFarlane and Fox, which is going to be on Nat Geo. Um, good. They're going to run that. Variety Magazine notes Cosmos, Possible Worlds, and Star Talk had been in limbo for months since the allegations against Tyson surfaced. Uh, Fox had originally scheduled the new season of Cosmos to premiere on Sunday, March 3rd, while Nat Geo had uh, slated a second window to begin Monday, March 4th. Both networks later had to scrap those plans because of their throwing them out, but now um, all, all, is, all good. is fine after, is after good. an investigation. Don't go yet after an investigation by <laughs> Nat Geo, okay? All right, you can come over here if you want to come over here. All right, just come over. All right, here she comes, folks. She's coming into the into view here. There we go. But anyway, so congratulations to Neil deGrasse Tyson. I didn't even know that he was gone. I mean, I knew that there was yeah. stuff. Yeah, well, uh, ah. you know. All right, uh, call in, everyone. Now, how many other people are they going to suddenly say, hey, you know? I bet there'll be a lot. You know? I bet there'll be quite well, a few. Well, th these people were just, you know, they were too ready to jump on the bandwagon. They were so afraid of, of what people would say or exactly. think or what, you know? And I, I, I could see my eyes. Huh? You could see my eyes. What do you mean? I could, no, no, when you were sitting over there, you were like this. You were sideways and you're... That your hat was too low. Oh boy. Anyway, this is the woman who everybody goes, I wish that lady would walk faster down the stairs. I'm um, trying to catch my train. I've done it twice and, yeah. and it's it's hard. It's really difficult. Anyway, our lines are open. The other day I tried it, I did oh, a couple of go. steps. Ah, first one up is wait a minute, hold on a second. For, uh, let's see here. Richard Johansson is calling from Norway, and we have Phil calling from, wait a minute, I, there we go.
We have Phil calling from uh, uh, Walnut Creek. So there, on one side of your screen, ladies and gentlemen, let me just do this. On one side of your screen is Norway, and on the other side of your screen is Walnut Creek. Isn't this a wonderful world in which we and live? And down in the corner it's, is New York City. Yeah. Right. And yeah. it's even better <laughs> if you just go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Oh really? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. We, we'll handle. No, I don't. I don't. I don't have to yet. I may have to, and then it's up to you, Phil. It's up to you. Yeah. How are you doing, yeah. Richard, tonight? Uh, I'm quite fine. You're much easier to listen it's, to now than you were last week, a couple of weeks ago, when you yeah, had when that I, cold. When it was I had, like when I had a, Yeah, when I had a cold. Yeah. 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 Hello, Rob. There's Rob. Hello. Yeah. Hey. And, uh, and, and and here from uh, Texas, uh, from Ar uh, from Arizona, Charlie. is Charlie. See, we're all over the world. Oh, and then here, Jeff. coming up on the, from Connecticut, Jeff? is is, uh, yeah. is Jeff. Uh, wow. Hi. Got all the usual suspects. Yeah. All the usual suspects. <laughs> Where's Charlie? Yeah. Yeah, Char uh, Char ah, yeah, he there he He's goes. Coming. He just kicked in. He just kicked in. He will. There he is. <laughs> there there's, he is. There's Charlie. So look at that. Hey guys. Look at that. The whole world is represented here. I'm the only I'm... female. You're the only female. Yeah, well, we don't have a lot that's, of women that call. That's it. very unusual on this show. <laughs> we haven't heard from Renee in about three months now. Yeah. You know? She listens. Uh, she listens, but she doesn't call. Uh, yeah. And we miss, I miss her personally. Amy, Charlie Roden, Amy Klobuchar. Klobuchar, that's the one. Klobuchar. Klobuchar. Yeah. Uh, well, that, that's was, a, was it her or Elizabeth Warren? Yeah, that's that, the senator uh, from Minnesota. Made her. her it was in her the snow. in the snow. In the snow, yeah, yeah. Right. So, there you go. Snow lady. The snow lady. Yeah. Snow lady. Yeah. 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 So what? I'm just you know, I heard a survey that uh, <laughs> when it comes to Kobachar, nobody <laughs> nobody knows her name. They certainly can't spell they it. They can't pronounce uh, it. They can't pronounce it either. Neither can I. It's Klobuchar. 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 Yeah, yeah. She's um, yeah. So uh, we got a we got a whole plethora of people running, and still more to come. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I was thinking about it last night, or this or today. I was thinking about it, and I just think that we really should have a rule that you don't start uh, running for office till like uh, January of the election year. Well, or what they do in England is it's, it's a socialized, I mean, it's paid for by the government. They've got three months. The government pays for it. They advertise all over. They give speeches and do whatever they want. Yeah, it's a three At month the end of three window. months, is a, there's a, a prime minister and it's over. I mean, I think we should have a, uh, an 11 month window between the primaries and running for office. Do you know office. a presidential a presidential run is a billion dollars now? Yeah. A billion dollars. Yeah. That's Yeah. And outrageous. and also also, you know, the other Crazy. the other factor yeah. here is I think the party should have to pay for the primaries. Not a bad idea. Because primaries are only uh, you know, they uh, while not really new, they are recent to the last century. There weren't primaries. And that limits you to, to the two parties. No, what you do, if, what if, you do, no, no. <laughs> what you do is you, you put your people up for president, but if you're a party, you have your convention, and that's where you decide who your candidate is going to be. You what know, about the independent guys? The independent guys? Uh, who, 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 what independent uh, guys? The Ross, Ross Perot type. They you know, well what, they, what, they what, have to create their if, they have to create their own party just like they do now. Yeah, but the funding that you come up against the DNC no, no, or but, the uh, that, GOP, but that's still, uh, there's that, no way an independent will be full able of to. you're shit. That's the way it is now. I'm saying good Well, night. it shouldn't be that way. Good well, night, it shouldn't everyone. be that way, but it good is night. that way mm -hmm. now. What I'm saying is, is why should we pay for a bunch of primaries? When these guys could go to a convention and fight it out among themselves and say, okay, who's going to be your torchbearer, you know? Yeah. And then you, the, your guy is running and your guy is running. And yes, uh, the independent parties that we do have do have their little conventions where they don't hold primaries, by the way. They do hold conventions and decide who's going to run. Yeah. I think well, the president's back room. 
Hmm? I think the, the current president should appoint the next president. So <laughs> yeah, I think, so do I. So I do think I. Trump <laughs> should, appo- should appoint his son-in-law to be the next president. I think Absolutely. so. Absolutely. That's what I think. Well, I didn't think about like that, but what a, what a they great... Get new, yeah. what a, they get into the snow, they roll around, and the one that doesn't freeze is the president. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. But no, all I'm saying is, is that this whole primary system... Number one, how much money does it cost each state to hold primaries? Well, think about how, how the broadcasting business would go down the tubes if they didn't have all the money in advertising. Even though they get the cheapest rate on the card, at least yeah. it's a lot of money coming in. Yeah, but here's, yeah, what they here, here's, rate here's again? the point. Uh, it, it's just the, the political it, rate. Or? It's the lowest rate that any advertiser would pay for that particular time and so on. Yeah. Yeah, when, when I was doing more advertising, I used to ask for that rate. You know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's surprising, but the newspapers at one time would give it to you. Yeah, but here's the point. Here's here's the point I'm making. Political rate, H- logically. Um, to begin with, the the primaries are a function that really only serves the party. Am I right? So why should we be paying for that? Why shouldn't we say no primaries? All these people, all 20 people who are Democrats, go to the convention, and then they start bartering and bar- bartering, you know, bar- bartering with people and trying to convince people and make a case for their candidacy. And then eventually that convention comes out and says, okay, Bob is now our, our candidate. That sucks. That, that's, you guys what complain you about you, the electoral college. You're going to tell Can me? you imagine? No, no that, but that's the way it was, Phil. Well, it's, that wasn't a good way. That's no, the way, what, what's, that no, way but, anymore. What, what's the advantage of the primary? There's no advantage of the primary. Yeah. Because, because the uh, oh, and, the uh, let, let me let me give you the rest of this. The New right. York pays, I don't know how many hundreds of millions of dollars to, to, to do pri- a primary. And then when they go to the convention, the people who go to the convention who have to vote for that candidate who won in our primary only have to do it on the first ballot. <laughs> and after uh, that, they can yeah. vote for anybody they want to. So who does it serve? But if they change, if they change their Phil, mind, I Phil, think you're they being get a old, lot of pushback. You're being old-fashioned, Phil. The fact mm-hmm. is that uh, you know it's the should be the job mm-hmm. of the party to pick their candidate. Well, uh, my ex's grandfather took the votes to Washington for Herbert Hoover. <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't take the votes. He he went as an elector. He he he, he was the delegate. He was an elector. Delegate. Yeah, and uh, also during the inauguration, sat on the podium. You know the. Uh, yeah. Pretty interesting. Oh really? That picture. It's a boring yeah. story. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really dull, boring well, story. I got this big. Well, my ex has this big picture of him. With George C. Marshall, who who was uh, who asked him to consult. Oh, Renee Collins is on our uh, on our what do you call it? On our, yeah. Uh, 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 chat. Hi, K- Renee. <laughs> yeah. What's she yeah. chatting about? I don't know. I uh, talk, now see Kevin Stopper is on there too. Kevin, okay, if you're listening, we hope the operation went well today. Okay, it must have if you're on the on the uh, what do you call it the uh, the yeah. chat. So, well, maybe he can't talk. <laughs> that's why. He's, yeah. That's why he's it, typing. It, 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 yeah. It's typing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, who, uh, who who put their hand in front of the uh, in front of your camera, uh, Rob? My wife. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> Say hello for me. Just got, she just got home from work. Really? And you get Starbucks. No, I had Starbucks. Yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, uh, did you anybody see the news about the new host on Late Night on NBC? Yeah, she's yeah, on Facebook. A she's a, a YouTuber. YouTuber. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? You know what it is? It is a big mistake. And I'll tell you why. It's like a bunch of executives went, oh, she's a big hit on YouTube. We got to hire her. Because that's hip. That's what it is. That's the kids watch YouTube. There's only one problem. 
she's running a national television show. It's a great jump between being on YouTube and running a national television show. Maybe the national and, and television I, show and is I don't, running. Her. I don't. I don't think she's going to last very long. She's certainly not, not going to last as long as Carson Daly did, which had to be yeah. something like twenty years. I, I can't remember she, how long that is. Now, does she have as many followers on YouTube as you do? Uh, yes, a few more. Uh, oh, a few more. just a couple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, what, what? do you think? Uh, what, what do you think, Rob? Do you think that's a big mistake? I don't know. I uh, I think it's. I was shocked. I read. I saw it today online, and I'm like, "What are we? Is this where we are now? Because you have, you know, two million followers, you're going to get a network is television show. Two or show? fourteen? Whatever. I'm just making up numbers. I'm just saying whatever. It's just, you know, running your own YouTube channel is a big difference from a network television show. Right. You know, and, and, I mean, what's her shtick on the YouTube who channel? Who knows? Who knows? I don't. I, I don't care. I never heard of her. Did you ever hear of her? Yeah. No. No. Oh, but, but then uh, again, and then so she's going to be on at one thirty in the morning, and if it's successful, it's over for it. <laughs> it's it's going to be they're going to rape the YouTube channels, and they're going to hire everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going to happen. You, you know what prime time is going to be? Eight to nine on CBS. A cat playing Make piano. Or, yeah, that or makeup tips. That's makeup a 10. Tip. The makeup tips are a 10. Makeup yeah. tips. <laughs> and unboxings. Unboxings, yeah. At, tonight the, at 9 on NBC, we're going to unbox the new router from Orbi, from, from it, Netgear. It, it, yeah, yeah, right, exactly. Alex, is, Alex Bennett is going to open a box with his new GoPro in it. Yeah. Unbelievable. And with his teeth. No. And they're paying her nothing, probably. I mean, you know, she's going to get... All I'm saying is is that, that uh, uh, to begin with, that time of the morning, I guess it doesn't matter whether she gets an audience or not, you know? I don't think, yeah. Carson, I don't think Carson had much of an audience, and he lasted 20 years doing it because nobody knew he was there, you know? Johnny Carson? Uh, it, no, 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 Carson Daly. Yeah. Oh. I mean, Carson, I used to work with Carson. With, well, I used Carson to work Daly with Carson. Interested. I used to work with Carson in San Francisco. He did Midnight to Six. And then I oh. went on at six, and he would come do the first hour of my show with me, and we just bat things around and stuff. And all of a sudden, one day, he's on MTV, and he's a big deal. He's a heartthrob. And uh, the next thing uh, you know, after guy, that, NBC is hiring him. What station was that? Because the Live guy was on after Live you with Camel was black. Right? Live 105. Not by, oh. no before me on Live 105 was oh, Carson you. was Carson Daly. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean for a while, then they then he left and he went to MTV and you know the rest is history. But uh, in fact, well, I have I away. I think I ran into some tapes the other day that I have a Carson on them where he's talking with me during the first hour of the show. <clears throat> Well, maybe they'll do away with the comedians as hosts, and uh, they'll have a new take on it. What do you mean? Can't hurt. What do you mean comedians as a host? Well, well aren't most of those no, late-night shows, they're all comedians. Yeah. Uh, yeah, or alleged comedians. Or he alleged. Well, yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think the only good one out of the batch is Kimmel. Yeah. I, I think Kimmel's pretty good. Uh, I think Kimmel's the only, the, Kimmel's the only one who's living in the true tradition of the late night talk show, you know, the rest of them who, who are like the ones that did the man show. That was, was Jimmy Kimmel? Kimmel. And, uh, what's his name? Um, starts with a C, uh, oh, Conan? Conan? No, 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 no. Uh, I'm trying to remember. No, no Conan O'Brien. No. Uh, it, it was, uh, it was, uh, somebody will say it on online here in a moment. Uh, yeah. yeah. But it was, yeah. uh, it was, I'm trying to remember his name. He has him on the show every now and then he, he's very big in podcasting. Uh, God, I can't remember his name now. But anyway, they did the man. Show ah, I know who you mean. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Big in, when you said big in podcasting. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but uh, 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 yeah, Con uh, he, uh, he uh, Kimmel, Kimmel, and that guy were there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dark guy. hair, tall. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What's his? Name? I can see his face. I, I, I'm thinking of a name like Cortez or Kizzy. No. It's, it starts with a C, I think. Um, I knew the producers of the show. It was Stone uh, Stanley yeah, Adam Carolla, somebody just wrote. Thank Adam you very Carolla. much. There you go, That's Adam Carolla. Thank you very much, Zim. Adam Carolla. Yeah. 
It was Adam Carroll yeah. and, and they, Jimmy they Kimmel. And before that, what did Jimmy Kimmel do? Before the uh, man I show? Hmm? Was he a he, hedge fund he was the it was the announcer and the sidekick on Win Ben Stein's Money. Oh wow! Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a show which I liked, by the way. I liked that <laughs> show. Yeah. You know, I thought Ben Stein was a pretty funny guy till he turned out to be a right wing asshole. <laughs> you know, uh, one of the guys I ride motorcycle with uh, got a spot on Ben Stein's Money. And when and he did really, really well until it came time for the filming. And he went down the day of the filming. Then he, he didn't he then he didn't do cancer. then he didn't what? He had he found out he had prostate cancer and he just went to shit. And uh I imagine that so, would throw my game off a little. Yeah. 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 You know, it had to be twenty years ago. So prostate cancer sometimes was a uh you know, uh, was a death. Sentence. Prostate cancer. Right. Every time I tell people now, I, I probably have prostate cancer. They laugh at me. That's <laughs> how how unserious it's become. Yeah, you know? but back then, this guy. I mean, for people you know, at my age, for people at your age, it's a little it. more dangerous. Yeah. You know. You know, he he had the spot. He he was on the thing, and he just fell apart. So he didn't win Ben Stein's money. No, he certainly didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I, 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 Did I, I, he do the show? Uh. I don't remember if he did the show. I, I think they threw him off before the show started. You know, it, it, he just, he was nowhere to, you know, he was. Uh, Phil, Phil, Phil uh, you said you, you, were, you were riding motorcycle? Yeah. Riding, what kind of a motorcycle are you, are you riding? Uh, I have a Harley, a Dyna. Uh, oh, you have a, oh, it's a Harley, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you're not into uh, ch chopping, choppers, or stuff like that? Uh, it's, it is, it's not a chopper, but it's you know. a... Um, it's a street bob. It's a bobber. Uh, okay, you know, okay. It's like uh, the old school. I, I, I don't know. To me, bobber has it, a whole different right, connotation. You know, that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, I got, I got yeah. this. I got 16 inch eight. Uh, handles, handles. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I got oh, the 16 inch cool. chubby bars. Oh, oh that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> do you ride motorcycles, uh, Richard? I, I I used to do. I'm not not anymore. But I'm I'm kind of I'm a little bit into it. Yeah. I have yeah. connections in uh, with the uh, with the angels and uh, the stuff here in Oslo. You, you have the Hell's Angels in uh, in Norway. Yeah, we have a big chapter. In yeah, Norway. Alex Alex likes them too, but I'm I'm not a fan. Well, I was... well I'm not a I'm not a fan e either. But um, I, you know, actually, sometimes they're doing a job that uh, let's uh, right now we ha if we have a problem with with a certain gang. Uh, Youngsters like they 16, 17 years old, uh, mm -hmm. immigrants. Yeah. They give them a beat down. Yeah, they, they, uh, the police are, are, are looking at them, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, see what they do. But they, and they, they be, they may be 10, 12 guys, and they beat the 10 guys the beating up. Out of them. 10 guys beating I, I saw the Hells Angels. And the angels I was in a, Sono I was in a Sonoma. Uh, Sonoma yeah. event that they put on, and I saw them beat down a guy that had a San Francisco Hell's Angels vest on, but yeah. they didn't think he was a San Francisco Hell's Angel. They thought he was an imposter. He probably was, oh, oh, and they so. beat this guy down. Uh, well, and you don't wear friend, you don't wear yeah. their colors unless you are one of them, Phil. I, I understand, but I looked at you're this a and fucking I said, moron are animals, if you do. I'm out of here. No, no, but I, I was what I what I was saying uh, that the, the, the angels was was doing the job the police were supposed to do, actually. Yeah, as long yeah. as they were allowed to deal in prostitution uh, and methamphetamine. Uh, I'm not going to go into that, but yeah. And and other crimes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, that's uh, a cop but, speaking. Yeah. 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 Have you been? Mention, a, you've been uh, a cop? Actually. Yeah. Oh yeah. no! He was, he was a, a he was a fucking years. rent a cop. Come on, uh, you know a rent a cop gets paid. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Then you were a a uh, a. I qualify. You are a faux cop. You're a faux cop. Is what you Not are. Faux cop. You pseudo cop. I, I, quali <laughs> I qualify under Leosa to carry a concealed weapon, uh -huh. and uh, I I was a level one police officer. I I, I took out a car. I took reports. Wait a minute! In California, uh, I was, I, in California, if you buy a gun, you can rip, you can conceal it, can't you? No, no. There, there's maybe five thousand. What, uh, what you have to weapons. you have to wear it on your hip? 
No, uh, you can't even you can't have it loaded if you're not if you don't have a concealed weapons permit. Uh, uh, you can't, uh, you can't carry concealed, you can't carry it loaded. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, and if, uh, if, and when you do carry it, you have to have it in a locked box, mm -hmm. uh, you know, for, to be legal. Mm -hmm. Uh, Alex, you, you didn't think that we had, uh, angels in Norway, no? What? No, uh, no, I, I, oh, yeah, I, I think they, they're everywhere. Yeah, yeah. 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 We, have a, we have a bunch of uh, clubs with uh, not only the angels, you know. Yeah. Well, aren't there, isn't there a problem between the Mongols and the angels in Oslo? Yeah, that, that's solved. That's solved now. Yeah. yeah. Pe but peacefully. they kill the Mongols? Pe pe no, no, peacefully. peacefully. Listen, yeah. you no. guys talk to each other. I think I have to run to the bathroom. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Charlene gets on and you're in the bathroom. <laughs> that's okay. Talk to him, Listen. Charlene. Oh, oh. How am I doing? Yeah. Oh, well, well, I'm the same as I always am. I just want to apologize to um, Richard. Richard, right? From oh, Copenhagen. yeah. Why? Copenhagen, right? Not Norway, right? No, he's from Oslo. Uh, <laughs> the other way around. Yeah. Os uh, uh, but, yeah. But, uh, we, uh, Alex once, uh, we, uh, uh, yeah, when he first tried to get on, yeah. he says, oh, this is the guy from Copenhagen. I said, no, yeah. this is not the guy from Thailand. Mm -hmm. And he says, no, no, no. It but was, I, I was the guy from Thailand too. Yeah. Because I I I, I partly live in Bangkok. So. Right. So we yeah. we just decided you're the guy from yeah. Copenhagen. Yeah. So. But, yeah. but Richard, you were talking about like German influence. I hear like a slight German accent, kind of too. Yeah. yeah, I have. I I talk. You know, uh, probably because I'm. Uh, uh, I got a good friend. A good friend in Germany, uh, in this building, and also a friend of right. his in Germany. So maybe, uh, yeah, maybe yeah, a you're, little you're a cool influence. Guy. Like you're very musical, I think, into music or something, or huh? You know, like, are you into music? Oh, very much. I'm stonewashed. That's what I thought. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, stone <laughs> washed. Oh yeah. God, the Rolling Stones time. Yeah. Not That's brainwashed. Uh, stone washed. I was two years old when I I, I had my first Rolling Stones record. So. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have a record player, but he had the record. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had the record. And the, I, and if uh, funny enough, uh, oddly enough, the record the record was tattoo you. Yeah. So tattoo you. Look at right? me. Yeah, look at me. <laughs> yeah, you've lived you've oh, lived up to the song. You, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I was uh, thinking about uh, the healthcare in uh, Norway. And and yeah, and uh, you know, you you guys have single payer. Actually, you don't pay. You said it's just all taken care of. Uh, would you say that the general health of the population in Norway is much healthier than the general health of most people in the United States? Yes, uh, definitely. Yeah. And I think that's a reason why uh, a government sponsored or single payer health care can work in a country like Norway, whereas in the United States. We have too many sick people, mm. and we have uh, most. We only have sick people because they can't have health care. No, we have right. sick people because I they're know. obese. Charlie. They're obese, but, and they and they and they go to McDonald's and. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, that's what I was going to say. You you also have a have a different. Uh, you you eat a lot of uh, trans like, fat. Yeah, a lot, and uh, the, 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 your your diet is different too. Right. You guys yeah. eat uh, what's that fish? Ludafish. Yeah, I was dying to ask you. Yeah. Him, it, I see that crazy guy that eats all those strange things. What's that guy's name? Uh, I don't. Oh Somehow yeah. I, thought it was I, I went to IKEA and I had those Swedish I meatballs. I don't IKEA recommend them. <laughs> you guys have an IKEA in your? Uh, yeah, yeah, in yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, for the radio people, I'm back again. That is uh, IKEA. Is, IKEA back. is Swedish, but we 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 got it all over. Yeah. yeah. Do you eat the meatballs? Uh, yeah, they, uh, the Norwegian. Hmm. I don't had, think they're meat. Had, no, uh, uh, the difference between uh, the Norwegian yeah. meatballs are bigger, and then uh, the Swedish are uh, smaller. Lingonberry sauce, right? Lingonberry yeah, sauce. lingonberry sauce and all that. Yeah. yeah. But they can Hey, welcome back, Alex. Uh, hey guys, oh, I'm gonna I'm here. gonna sign off. You guys yeah. have a good weekend. You sound sick, Rob. Uh, no, I'm not. No, not no, sick his at all. Wife is, uh, she's she's no. been out all day long, and I just got to oh, hang God, out. Oh, God, I so. think something happened to your wife. You got to go? go? Okay, bye-bye, Rob.
Take Bye. care, Rob. Okay, Rob. Bye. Bye-bye, Rob. Okay, well, uh, that means we uh, have... Charlene, uh, uh, what did you say about... Oh, wait, uh, here. Here, uh, comes, here comes Tony to take his place. He being a musical, well, how, how, did you, uh, how did that idea pop up? In my language? Which, which idea? Yeah, you said, uh, are you into music? Was it my language? You were reacting? No, because I've been listening to you, and oh, you yeah, just okay. sound like, a, like you're into... You know, music and rock and roll and uh, you know, all and, and of also things. with all those tattoos, oh. you could get a regular job. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah sure. I mean, you're like a hip. You're a hip dude. In, yeah. you know. what, what do you do for a living, uh, Richard? Uh, you know, I'm 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 retired now, but I used to be a soccer player, but now uh, and an artist. Oh, but I, I still got. But I still got the art and the and and the rock and uh, the, the the record collection left, but. They have to retire me because my injuries. I was injured. What what kind of injuries? Oh, I have a lot of them. Uh, my knee, left knee, my shoulder, three, three, four places in my back. Who's a soccer player? Right? Oh, you sound like my wife. I, I, I was a <laughs> I was a mid I was a, an what do you call it an aggressive midfielder. So I was kind of marked by three, wow. two or three, mm-hmm. two or three players. Mm-hmm. So I had a lot of tackles coming on. So yeah. you played professionally? Yeah. Oh, by the way, yeah. What do you call it? Uh, uh, Tony, uh, move yeah. your camera down a little oh. bit. See how you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now there, look at that. Sorry. See, may as well, may as well get the <laughs> money's <laughs> worth out of right. the new teeth. Anyway, um, so you 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 had soccer injuries, is what uh, what caused it, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And so uh, uh, but, yeah. you, you say you're retired. How old are you? Four, four, 40. You retired at 40. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, and I'm, and I'm, get, I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting a, a full, full retirement payment. Wow. A full retirement from who? From the, from the state. From the state. Wow. Yeah. Disability? A, a pension. A pension. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. See, see, Phil, that's what happens Phil, when yeah. you pay too much yeah. money in you taxes. Know, you know, I, we, you I know, asked you, them. You know, if you can't work, you can apply for this. You know, if you can't work <laughs> it, because of the yeah, you can apply through the doctor. Okay. No. Mm-hmm. Why can't you just say welcome to Walmart? You know, I mean. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, because I think they may be lucky enough not to have a Walmart in. Uh... Oh, okay. Welcome to IKEA. Although I got to tell you, when I was in China, I, w- I went into a Walmart. Yeah. They had a Walmart, and yeah, in 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 China, and uh, in they had a, in their grocery section, they sh- they sold turtles. Hmm. Yeah. I bet you they eat live turtles. Oh, yeah. Little... Oh yeah. Well, you listen. You go to uh, you go to Flushing, or as we call it here, Flushing. Um, and which is an all Chinese neighborhood, <laughs> and they sell giant, huge turtles that you can buy, and they'll chop them up for you right there. That's gross. Yes. Uh, by the way, uh, by the way, Alex, if you uh, or anybody, uh, if you want to see my artwork, I, it's on my Facebook Facebook site. So. Uh, what 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 is what, what is your name on Facebook? Yeah, Same. Richard Johansson. Richard Johansson. Well, yeah. good. I'll take a look all, at it. All one and, all one word. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Richard and yeah, uh, uh, surname Johan. Uh, 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 there's a space between Richard and Johansson. Yeah, yeah. And if you go into that, uh, there's a artwork, and there's a, if you uh, um, there's a group, you know, groups. Uh, my middle name is Yukon, and uh, that's that's the real art side. That's just art. But Richard Johansson is a mix of art and other stuff, so you can see both. Right. Okay. okay. Uh, Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. Good. Um, so you're 40. You're retired. See, yeah. see, Phil. This is what happens when you live in a country that cares about people when they no longer are able to work. Rather than let them have to starve to death, they. Uh, put, uh, I mean, what kind? What kind of? Can I ask what kind of money you get on pension? Yeah. Sure. Uh, in dollars. You want, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to. Um, two hundred. Wait, wait a minute. I'm getting two hundred and fifty thousand Norwegian. That'll be eight cents. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, wait a minute. Fifteen, sixteen thousand, sixteen. Two, three, three thousand dollar a month, something like that. Really? 
Yeah. I want to move. Wow. Two, yeah, two thousand five yeah, yeah. between two two five and three. Yeah. Socialism is not sounding that bad to you now, Ooh. does it, Phil? Oh. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> good. And and it's all those point. terribly high taxes he was paying at forty percent, Phil. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he, he know, doesn't have to pay taxes you know, because he's on the government dole. Yeah, I'm paying. Uh, my tax my tax rate is like uh, for fourteen. Yeah, I, on my on my pension. On your I mean, pension, you have to per, pay per taxes month. on the pension. Yeah, yeah, per month, per month, yeah. Per month, so that's three thousand dollars a month. So that's thirty six thousand yeah, dollars a year. He was a football player. What do you think that the NFL football players in this country get if they get hurt and and they and they have to retire them? You think they're getting three grand have, a month? I took I took a degree in, in uh, I was on, I was a soccer player and I got injured. I had mm -hmm. I had the, uh, I had to quit. Uh, I, I was only like 22. So I, then I got into I took a um, what do you call it a uh, degree in uh, in a hotel mm -hmm. based, uh, management management oh, management. Uh, oh oh wait a minute, Kevin. I can't. So I, 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 you hold, can hold, add that. hold on a second. Kevin's trying to call and I can't take him because he's somehow calling on a line that I can't. Well, let me. He's he's not listed, Kevin. The number you're calling from. Well, I'll go add the contact. Oh, yeah. And let me see if I can call him. Can I call him and not get rid of the rest of you? I don't know. I don't think so. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is he in the hospital? I'm trying to, but I can't. Oh, I'm 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 all there. You guys are, but I'm trying to call Kevin. And I go call, and it doesn't call him. Oh, add to group. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I got. I figured out a way to get him on if he answers the phone. But uh, <clears throat> Kevin, if you can uh, try and answer, there you are. Here we go. Kevin, you there? Yeah. Where are you, Kevin? Let's see. Oh, there he is. He's lying in bed. <laughs> You were calling from a uh, probably from a machine that you don't normally call from, right? Right. And so you weren't on the list. Out. I couldn't find my damn. Uh, I, had, I couldn't find my password for my iPad. Oh, I see. Okay. So anyway, uh, that's why he was having trouble getting on because he was calling from a number that I don't have him down as a contact on. Okay. Right. Um, uh, and this, what, what, so this, and what happened to Jeff Stein? Jeff, are you there? Uh, I don't, uh, no, I don't think he is. I just see a oh, JS. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. doing muted. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we'll we'll just let him. Yeah, picture went Maybe away. Maybe he left and came back. Mm, stay there, blank. So how did I, he... I don't know if this is the right pronunciation, but does your uh, Facebook page have a, a photo in it that oh, says uh, Balda Del Viaro? You can... Yeah, yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bal okay. <laughs> Uh, but I don't know if you can. Yeah. Oh, Spanish. Say that three times fast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, first, I want to find out from uh, Kevin. Here comes Jeff again. I, I, I want to find out from Kevin what, uh, what, uh, what, 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 uh, you know, how to go today. <laughs> well, that's your answer. Thank you very much, Kevin. That says it all. Pretty much so, says it all. You can only follow, you can't friend. Hey, no, hey Phil, pay friend. attention. We're talking to Kevin now. <laughs> I, okay. You know. Um, uh, 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 it wasn't too bad once I, until I wore off on all the drugs. Well, take more. Yeah, well, I'm yeah. doing that, believe me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. They, they kept me awake the whole time. Really? Why? Wow. Because that's uh, half the that's a half the fun of getting an operation is that fucking drug. Well, yeah, but they they, they gave me a bunch of propofol, and then uh, I guess he ran out of that, so he gave me a bunch of fentanyl, and really put me into la la land. But they wouldn't let me go to sleep, so they they worked on me for two hours and ten minutes, cut open my back in two or three different places, ran a bunch of plumbing. Wow. And, well, wait. Uh, a minute. Why did they have to keep and, you awake? Because they had to have you be able well, to say, "Hey, I'm I'm hurting here. I'm not hurting here." That fentanyl well, came across the border from Mexico. That's what I did. Huh? <laughs> yeah. oh, that's what I did. But no, yeah. they they don't put me under because of my CPAP. 
I think Phil knows the same thing. Yeah, they they put me under, but uh, they almost had to do a tracheotomy on me. Uh, yeah, and then right. what they did was they put a trumpet up my nose to so that they could ventilate me. Uh, and did you wow. did you did you play Blow Gabriel Blow or some song like that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was out of tune. I was definitely out of tune. Well, they put the they put the nose thing in for the oxygen, but when when they did the operation, they laid me down on my stomach, and then they put you on like a massage table, and you're looking down through the hole. Yeah, the whole time, and Ooh. my nose clogged up, so they pulled that out of my nose and shoved it into my mouth, and then cranked it up, so I was getting oxygen. Yeah. But every time I didn't start breathing, the this is ugly. Was, this is very ugly. He'd say, "Start breathing, start breathing." I'm going, "I am breathing." He goes, "Deep." <laughs> I want you to start and I'd go, Okay, and then I'd start feeling real good. Wow, <laughs> this is. But it was a... kind of like a two-hour and ten-minute party, actually. You know. <laughs> Yeah, well, it, 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 to show you what a trooper Kevin is, in spite of all that, he's calling the show tonight. That's right. Well, yeah. well for two weeks, I'm going to have a hangover, so that's that's the problem. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 pretty painful. Last night, I woke up at 2 o'clock in the morning. I've been up ever since. So. Well, but you had the operation today, right? What's that? You had the operation no. today. Yeah. It was yesterday. Oh, it was yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, I remember because yes, I kept saying I should write him a note. I should write him a note. I should write him a note, and then I didn't. <laughs> yeah, you were off with Shecky, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it happened yesterday, and it was fine until. Well, well look, kids. Morning. If you, if kids just was tuned in, Santa's sick. <laughs> <laughs> Santa's on his back. <laughs> Santa's sick, but the the elves are the elves are bringing him hot cocoa. So. Was it a fusion or something? Can what I have an Atari Twenty Six? No, you? I had a a spinal cord stimulator put in my body. Oh, oh! Remember you so were testing it. I remember you were testing it, right? Yeah, they tested they it. And then it. Okay. It works, so they installed the thing. So yeah, mm -hmm. so. Uh, it, oh. <laughs> they didn't turn it on. I get it turned on in ten days. So when they pull the stitches off, otherwise they'll. Mm -hmm. no, now they can turn it on. Yeah, they can turn it off from yeah. outs outside of you, right? Yeah, I'll have a little remote control thing that I can change the settings. And stuff Is that like. like the thing Jerry Lewis tested? Like he had a uh, thing that was like that. I think. I don't Jerry know. Jerry Lewis. Yeah, he, he had he something taking, like that. He was taking um, uh, some sort of no, drug no, that before he got made puffed him. up. Before uh -oh. he got puffed up, he was testing a pain thing. No, the the, the pain pill he was it. taking was I'm trying to remember the name of it now, but that's the thing that made him get all fat. Remember that when he got yeah. really fat? Prednisone. Yeah. Uh, what is uh, there? It is there, the, the, zone. Yeah. Look there, there. That's that's that. What part of that machine went inside of you? I guess the square part. Uh, uh, the the big long thing is the remote. The one in the middle is the uh, the charger for it, yeah. and then the thing on the left. Is what goes inside of you? It's what goes inside, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's <laughs> inside of you. The one in the middle, you, you what do you do, lie on that or hold it up next yeah, to it? It's, a, it's like a iPhone charger pad thing. Yeah. You yeah, charge it lay on that. <clears throat> yeah, well, it's like, you know how today's iPhones you can just put on a pad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's the same kind of thing. Yeah. He can also change the channel with that thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can increase the channel. Oh, <laughs> now, if you could only get it to vibrate your dick, that would be really terrific. That would be. Depends on where they ran the wires. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Probably should have had them run an extra one, right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, anyway, big news today was the. Um, oh, hey, by the way, I you heard the thing I said to Marjorie about uh, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson that he's off the he's, again? He, he's off the naughty list. Oh, is he? And, and, yeah, and they're going to put his shows back on. So what happened? The women that complained against him? Uh, no, the, it, Na, 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 Nat Geo did the, uh, uh, Nat Geo did a elaborate, uh, did, did not elaborate on the results of the investigation. But apparently they found that nothing went on, or if something went on, it was so benign that it didn't matter. But the fact that they won't comment on the results of the investigation means that they don't want to get sued by Tyson. <laughs> you know? or, or, the, or the woman. Or whatever. Anyway, it, 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 uh, 
I'm I'm so happy for him because he's a nice guy, you know. And um, when I heard that happen to him, I thought it was terrible. But what here's what happened to him, Alex. I forget what. I forget what happened to him. I can't. You know said, something? Uh, most of these accusations, you can't remember what went on. Yeah. You know, right. it's just these companies going overboard during that period of time. Get, oh, get put them on waivers. Uh, you know, get them out of here. We can't have them around us. You know. And it gets real big for like a day or two yeah. or something, one week, and then you forget about it. Like, and then. Well, if I were to ask somebody, if I were to ask most people, uh, uh, Louis C.K., what did he do? Most people will say, I, I don't remember. Well, then if you don't remember, how bad was it? You know, pulled yeah. his right, dick out right. with permission. With permission, yeah, they, right. you're correct. But uh, if I were to say this guy James Gunn, what did he do? The director of the Guardians of the oh. Galaxy pictures. Uh, I don't care. I, I the only way I found out is I was watching um, TMZ today, and they remembered what it was, and it was like some tweets he made ten years ago. You know, that didn't uh, sit well with some people. Um, and Disney, because they just won't stand by anything because they're, they, they're just frightened of their image, uh, uh, dumped them from the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise. He just got it back today because they, they made a big deal about it saying, uh-uh, you know, um, we're not going to do this movie if you, don't, if you don't hire him back. And they went, well... Uh, you know, he did apologize. So now he's back again. So the same thing has now happened with uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Who knows how many other people it's going to happen to, but there are a lot of people whose lives have already been affected by it. I mean, like, the you know, uh, I, I always like to bring up uh, 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 Al Franken as a perfect case of somebody who it turned out to, you know, what, what did he do? It was a gag picture, photograph that was taken. That was a that was ridiculous. He should never have resigned, like you said, Alex. He should not have resigned. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it, just it, like Alex says, where there's smoke, there's fire. You know? I don't say that. Yeah. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yeah. When did uh, I say that? You know, when somebody gets accused that's uh, from my side of the aisle. Oh, and they're from uh, your side of the aisle. They're creeps. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, so. See? Yeah. By the way, Tony... It's very nice. Yeah. We can finally see you since you I just, since I had you. I just gave my mother her cream and her Benadryl, so she should be sleeping in ten minutes. <laughs> Has she paid you yet? Has she paid you yet? For no, I'm not, on the, I'm not on the city bowl yet, but soon. All right. Well, I would I wouldn't feed her until the city starts paying you. Yeah. She, well, she had yeah. her Danish too already. That's it. Yeah. She's done for the night. But anyway, yeah. here is push it under the door. The, here is the other story <laughs> I ran into that was. Uh, is kind of interesting now. Celebrities and others involved in the college admissions bribery scandal, including oh, Felicity Huffman and uh, Lori Laughlin, have been hit with a $500 billion lawsuit wow. in connection with the case. Wow. <laughs> the civil That's suit is in addition to the criminal charges they already faced for the alleged roles in the bribery scandal. Jennifer K. Toy filed a complaint Wednesday in Superior Court of California, County of San Francisco, against all the defendants in the college admissions bribery scandal. All of them, including Huffman and Laughlin, and her husband, Musimo Giannulli, and businessman Gregory Abbott, private equity investor Bill McGlashan, and others. Toy, a former school teacher from Oakland, California, claimed in her lawsuit that her son, Joshua Toy, was rejected for some of the colleges that were involved in the bribery scandal despite his work ethic and a 4.2 GPA. <laughs> and she believes he would have been if the admissions process wasn't manipulated. Uh, uh, so yeah, she is suing people, She is suing for $500 billion now. Uh, oh, man, maybe they'll settle on a court. <laughs> this is good. Uh, I mean, I... You I, know, Jeff, Jeff said last night that the old way of doing it was to yeah. buy a building yeah. uh, or donate, donate a wing on a hospital or, you know, one of those kinds of things. <clears throat> What's the difference between that and paying some guy? That was considered legitimate. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was considered legitimate because your kid got into the school as a legacy, okay? Uh, 
But okay, but in one, in this fiction, case, in the, and course. and it was always known that that's the reason the kid got into the school. Okay, dad, yeah. you know, and and let's face it, you had to put out something like ten million dollars to build a, a wing to the school or something to get mm -hmm. that kind of treatment. Yeah. Thank you, Here, you, you got as low as fifteen thousand dollars for Felicity Huffman's kid, who they bribed the proctor who give the gave the SAT test. Okay, yeah, so they were bribing. Sure no, wait a minute. They guy. were wait a minute. They were bribing people. They were uh, fudging things. They were taking phony photographs. I mean, they were literally doing a scam. Well, All right. This toy guy had a four point two or four point three. <clears throat> that's that's perfect. I mean, you can't get better than that. Yeah. And so uh, I would imagine that his SATs were probably pretty good. Uh, so he didn't have any more of a leg up, you know, she didn't have any more of a leg up on him, uh, with good SAT. Yes, she did. Because if, uh, in the case of Lori Laughlin's daughter, I think they, they paid over, over a half, almost a half a million dollars to get her what about into the, one paid the 15 G's. Well, that, that was a different story altogether. I'm talking about Lori Laughlin's situation I do know they paid the head coach at that college to say that she was going to be on the rowing team. <laughs> and he, the, he got paid a million dollars. Or no, uh, excuse me, he got paid, uh, he got, somebody else got paid a million dollars, but he got 950. paid. 9 it was a coach. Yeah, but he got paid a bunch of money to, to yeah. bring her in. And she, they took pictures of her in a rowing machine to say she knew hmm. how to row. And she was never going to be on the team, but as soon as she got into the school, you know. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, it's, it's unfortunate, but, you know, these these schools have been liberal bastions of education. Oh. Yeah. Uh, no, they they've been, uh, in the case now, uh, in the case the of wait a minute, in the case exposed. of Stanford, they've been conservative. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, yes. What do you think? What, what do you think the Hoover Institute is there? Well, yeah, okay, that's a conservative institute. Yes, so and, have, where is it? and where is it, Phil? Tank. And where is it? They have one think tank with uh, conservatives. Now, it has nothing to do with being liberal or conservative, Phil. It has to do with the yeah. fact that these schools have kind of let this thing go by as a, as a way of doing business in the recent years. And this one woman, I think, who's got a great suit is the woman who is suing, her, uh, I think it's Stanford, because she's mm -hmm. saying that she spent like four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars for her education there, and now it isn't worth what it was worth oh because it's been please. diminished by the fact that anybody who graduated from Stanford is in question. Right. You know. So. Well, uh, you know, you still had to get the grades. You still had to take you, the you, classes. No, no, they Taking didn't. The test for them. They didn't. Did, have you seen Lori Laughlin's daughter? She is a yeah. dummy. Yeah. Well, okay, she's so a fucking dummy. Yeah, I mean, if 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 yeah. if uh, if Sponge Cake had a body in it, it would be Lori Laughlin's daughter. <laughs> I mean, true. she's hairspray up there, Alex, in the brain. Yeah, <laughs> she's the one that's saying. Alex, yeah. Alex, are you weight shaming her? Weight shaming her? I'm not oh, weight shaming. No weight I'm not weight shaming her. her. Have you seen her? She's hot. She's pretty. Oh, she's yeah. hot. Very yeah. Pretty. She was the she was the uh, she was a, a spokesperson for Sephora. She just lost that and, and job. And one other product too. I, I don't remember the name of it, but the there was Max. one other. Uh, yeah, I, there was one other uh, sponsor that she had a very big one. No, I didn't think she had another sponsor. That was her. That was her main sponsor. You're probably thinking of the mother who lost her job at Hallmark. Uh, no, I, I know that, but I think that the daughter. Uh, they, they were saying uh, that there was a second sponsor, and I, I just don't remember it. And on the other show that Lori Laughlin was on Fuller Shit or something like that. Uh, so. Full House. <laughs> <laughs> Fuller Shit. Then they had Fuller House. Yeah, Fuller House. Full House. Well, that was Aunt Becky. Oh, come on. That was Aunt Becky, yeah. I, I, I never watched that show, so when you say Aunt Becky, I have no and idea Uncle what Jesse, you're even talking Uncle about. Oh, All yeah. I know. Well, I saw this meme of Uncle Jesse telling the little girl... Aunt Becky's not going to be around. She's going to jail. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I had a friend of mine on that show, Bob Saget. Oh, yeah. oh, that's right. He was the dad. Yeah. Yeah. I saw him at the UC Theater. Yeah. Dirty yeah, Act, right? 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah, as a, as a, party, a potty mouth. Yeah, as, as Tony yeah. would say, a potty it, mouth. No, when people, it, when I heard that Saget got this goody goody TV show, yeah, I went, my fucking god, you know that really? guy had the dirtiest, darkest act oh, I ever did? saw in my life. I loved it. I loved but it. you wouldn't yeah. allow anyone to photograph his act. I, I was a little pissed at that. Yoni got to do it, but I, I didn't. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, and uh, I what, had a photo pass. Whatever it, it you know, I mean, uh, he uh, um, and and a great comic, I might add. So when he did Full House, I went, oh fuck, you know. But I mean, look, it, you know, I said to him, why'd you wind up doing that piece of shit? And he said, that piece of shit made me a lot of money. He <laughs> said, <laughs> you know, comedy yeah, never made back. me that. It, this Alex. was not comedy money. This was getting paid a full bucket load of shit, you know. Yeah. And he's still playing it. He probably gets paid. Oh, yeah. Oh, he yeah. probably gets residuals. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> did he do the one that was on Netflix, Fuller House? Or? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no, he's not on that. But did no, he do that one? It was no. It a primetime program. The, the, he, no, no, but then, he did Full House, and then they're doing Fuller House on Netflix, Fuller. which is, yeah. and I think the John Not Stamos. Anymore, John, I don't think. No, they no, still are. They now. still are. They're in the they're in their fifth season or something, yeah. and they're going to and they're going to do another one. But they said that what's her name is not going to be on it. Oh, yeah, they're going to okay. pull her out. Uh, the yeah. twins, yeah. The, the two Olsen twins are missing, he, right? Yeah. Well, they they were yeah. not, they weren't on this series at all. They're in rehab. Yeah. Here here was here was the oh don't say that because the one. One thing that uh, that uh, what's his name uh, said to me about them a, was yeah. I kidded about them and he said don't do that I protect them he says I will Trump. always have nothing but good to say about those kids you know yeah he, he well, was uh, very, they having a lot of personal problems no they didn't have any personal problems the personal problems were they made too much fucking money that was their personal yeah. problem they had uh, 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 you know clothing lines and everything both of them they were very successful and there's there a sister there's a sister died. there's a sister there's a third sister who isn't a twin who's a very successful actress i'm trying to remember her name now maybe kate olsen or something like that yeah, uh, Ashley oh, and Kate are the two twins. Yeah, but then there's Mary I think, Kate, Kate, Ka Ashley, and then there's the other Mary Olsen. Kate, no, then there's another there's another Olsen, uh, who is their sister, who has been a very successful actress in recent years and is considered very good. So, uh, Jimmy Olsen. No, uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, what were you going to say, uh, uh, Charlene? Superman. Charlene. Did, did Bob Saget have like a an episode where somebody accused him of something? No, I'm no, I, I don't think so. I've never heard of it. No, no, okay, no. And then Bob said he weight. Some, he also he hosted gained a lot of weight. No, he didn't. He's a lot heavier now. No, he's Who not. Gained uh, Bob Saget. Yeah. Well, Bob. What I've seen of him, he hasn't. But you know, well, he I used saw to do him. America's Funniest Video, right? Yeah, he used yeah, to do America's Funniest too, Videos yeah. too. He made a bucket load of money over there at ABC. You know, but uh, he was such a good comic that I, I, it, it kind of bothered me that. Because I love comics, that a complete comedy career was put on hold because of all of that, you know. And um, I never asked him, but I think he also felt that if he went out to do his his act while he was doing those shows, it would come back to haunt him because of the nature of his act. Because I never knew yeah. a guy who was darker or filthier than than he yeah. was. You know. Well, I've oh, seen yeah. plenty darker and filthier, but he he was dark and filthy. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, Ninety percent of his act was complaining about Full House. Was uh, it? And, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, well, because and basically, he, well, because if he plays to an audience, a normal audience, that's what they know him for. Yeah, right. You know. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's funny. Cause that's yes, a, uh, Richard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, another new, news thing. Um, the, the terror attacks down and yeah, down in was, New Zealand. I was going to bring that yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one of the guys, uh, I saw it on Norwegian uh, on a Norwegian page. Uh, one of the guys says he had contact with the, the Norwegian terrorist Bre Breivik. Yeah, the, the, oh. the, the, it, it wasn't that he had contact with him. He he idolized him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now this uh, was I the guy. This was the guy who killed how many people on a Norwegian I, island? Two hundred, I thought. No, not two hundred. No, no, no. Uh, he killed seventy-seven on the island and uh, fourteen in in also oh. city. Yeah, in, where the, the bomb. 
Yeah. I mean, do you think that the manifesto that is being passed around the media was actually written by this guy? Because it's really screwed well, up. Yeah, it's kind of. Well, that's uh, why we believe it is. Yes, because it was really screwed well, yeah, up. Yeah, but I, I'm, I, you know, he mentions all these other things like the, he had an agenda. Mm -hmm. uh, he also uh, mentioned Trump, but, by but the way. He, he also mentioned Trump, right. by the way. But he also said that uh, Red China was his ideal nation. Uh, you know, he said you know, uh, it's, a, it's a lot uh, of communist China. It's a lot of yeah. A, I, I saw it on CNBC. We have, we have stuff on it. On it yeah. Well, uh, yeah. the guy's alive. You know, they didn't. They, they don't just shoot him over there. They hold no, on no, to no. him. No, no, no. He, he's he's, he's uh, serving uh, on a. I mean, in in a hotel room. <laughs> he's going to get a pension in Norway. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, it, 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 no, but I mean, it was a, it was a terrible, terrible situation. Oh yeah, yeah, just yeah. a terrible situation. And 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 what are you going to do about it? You know, I mean, um, we had, a, we had a, all, all the mem all the natural things we do right after it, and then you, you know. Yeah, but you know, it's funny because he 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 mentioned uh, the guy in uh, in Norway. I'm trying to remember his name now. Babbitt. What was it? Baden. Uh, uh, the terrorist. Yeah. Breivik. Bra what was it called? Breivik. 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 Okay. Breivik. Breivik. Yeah. Breivik. Oh, you Bra Breivik. Breivik. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Uh, uh, but anyway, anyway, he uh, he mentioned him that uh, the, 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 he yeah. was somebody he idolized. Okay. You he know, idolized. Uh, it was terrible. It was, you know, just terrible. Um, yeah. uh, and uh, he uh, also referenced uh, white uh, nationalism, you know, and things yeah. like that. Yeah. And, and he referenced George Washington. And, and, and referenced uh, Donald Trump in it, you know. Oh, yeah. And George yeah. Washington, right? And Donald Trump. And Donald yeah. Trump. Well, everybody references John, Donald Trump. I don't know yeah. what he referenced uh, Washington <laughs> over, but... You know. It was on the cover uh, page of his manifesto, the second page. He had a wagon wheel with oh. different pictures in it, and one of them was George Washington. Oh, oh. yeah, okay, really. Mm. Well, anyway, I mean, it, it's, it's a terrible thing, and I mean, it's a terrible tragedy. And in a country that embraces multiculturalism, I mean, really oh, you, embraces you mean, it. You're talking about Norway, no, New right? Zealand, New, New Zealand. Zealand. Yeah. Uh, you know... And and uh, people of many cultures felt very safe there, and all of a sudden yes. this happens, yes. you know. And, yes. and yes. you know, and what's funny? They said forty people was forty four people were killed. How many were killed total? Forty nine. Forty nine people were killed. Wounded. And then the terrible wow. statistic that they came up with was that's more people than are killed in a year yeah, in no, New no. Zealand. What did now, you say? For forty nine in 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 forty nine dead. No, no, in in New Zealand. Yeah, oh, forty nine yeah. dead and forty wounded. Oh, now okay. the the guy who used to but be on more, CBS, more only something like thirty five or something like that deaths in New Zealand no, by 49. guns. 49. Yeah. No, no, yeah, no, I'm saying this, I'm saying in this situation. No, I'm saying that in a normal year, it's somewhere around thirty five. Yeah, all last year, there were only thirty five right. murders. Yeah, thirty five yeah. murder victims. Yeah. So the that, the guy from CBS who had uh, who was fired for uh, having uh, women come into his office and sexually uh, approaching them uh, it wasn't Charlie Matt Rose. It was the younger guy, Matt Lauer. Matt Lauer. Matt Lauer. He moved. That was at Zimmer. NBC, Phil. <laughs> oh, Everybody okay. have he a moved, drink. He, yeah, he moved to New Zealand. Hey, look at Kevin. And, he's uh, resting. He's oh, on he drugs. He's a sheep farmer. I heard, yeah. Look, yeah. Look at yeah. Kevin. Isn't that cute? He's, he, I think he, he's on drugs, so he's dozing off. That's nice. Just enjoy yourself, <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> enjoy the high while you got it. I'm jealous. <laughs> uh, it's like the guy on Shameless, uh, uh, Macy. Uh, he, he, kept, uh, he broke his leg and he's Macy? screaming. Yeah, he was screaming for Oxycontin in the yeah. final episode. I wonder what what's going to happen with that show now that he's uh, his wife has right. been uh, arrested. He needs the money for attorneys. I think he's going to be working. No, no, but it, it's a question of are they going to fire him or is that character he plays so close to this it doesn't matter? <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> I think this. I think the show's just about done. If they, if there's one more season, I'd be surprised. I've never watched a whole episode of it. Never. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's it? Emmy Rossum's leaving anyway. So. She left, yeah, yeah. Uh, in this last episode. Yeah, and uh, it was I'm, about time. 
By the way, Theo, I uh, were you able to, uh, to 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 see my Facebook Facebook site? Or? Yeah, I could see it. I couldn't friend you. You must. Have no, uh, but okay, <laughs> okay. But could you see? Could you uh, watch uh, watch it? You know, uh, uh, stuff like on it, like yeah, pictures. Yeah, like yeah. You had a, a million different musicians. Yeah, yeah, also. yeah. And and then later, later under there. Yeah, okay, okay. Mm. Yeah. How you doing, Jeff? You're quiet tonight. I'm I'm uh, doing good. I uh, today was a crazy day coming home. It was rainy. Like oh, oh, crazy, I, it was terrible here just a couple of hours and, ago. And I'm driving, and we can hardly see. And, uh, it was coming down just before I went on the air here. I mean, so hard, I couldn't believe it. You know, and we had some thunder. <laughs> How hard lightning. was it? So hard. <laughs> That's so hard. <laughs> Who knows what? Um, but anyway, um, you know, so, I mean, uh, you, it, it, it's, it's interesting that this happened in New Zealand, you know. Uh, but it just seems like the copycats are everywhere now. You know, and uh, oh, well. after the terror attacks in Norway, um, there was uh, not only a memory thing with Norwegian, but there was also Muslims and other uh, ne uh, immigrants that had uh, uh, mem me they arranged a memory thing. Yeah, but because um, everybody suspected it was a Muslim be uh, before they found Breivik. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So then yeah. the the Muslims in Oslo, they 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 went in a they went like they had a rose. What do you call it? You walk in a, a march. A march. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, rose march. What to yeah. say that we're sorry that we thought it was a. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Even the Hells Angels had had a march because uh, Breivik said he had a contact with the angels to get weapons. And say, uh, the analysts refused and they said, no, 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 no way. And they had a march with bikes. Now, why, uh, well, he killed these people basically on an island. And who were they that he killed? Did he? Uh, they were, they, no, no. Yeah, they were youngsters, uh, yeah. members of uh, of, of uh, the... the, the um, what was it a church thing? No, no, the part, uh, a political party, uh, the, the Labour Party. Mm -hmm. Youngsters of the Labour Party. Oh, then Phil doesn't mind because they were liberals. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, come yeah. on. <laughs> yes, uh, Charlene. Um, Alex, there was a Muslim ban, like the airplanes and all. Trump did a Muslim ban. Is it because of that, or that's something different, like this bombing? No, this had nothing to do with that. No, I mean, what oh, it had okay. to do is with a certain um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, fear of 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 Muslims. <laughs> You know, well, it was about the before. birth rate. Uh, according to the before. according to the <clears throat> manifesto, it was about birth rate that the whites weren't populating as much as the Muslims, and he felt that there'd be a uh, uh, an onslaught of uh, Muslims in future generations because they were oh, like the Caribbean's populating. Coming? Trump well, I think I think coming. everybody should get used to the fact all the, all all the whites in this country and in most countries should get used to the fact that most countries are becoming very multicultural. The United States, in a few years, whites will be the minority. Um, I think they already are, aren't the Latins? No, 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 oh, no. Not Hispanic. yet. Not yet, but coming very close. That's Hispanic that's have they'll have the largest minority group, followed by blacks. Uh, but uh, the the uh, they say within the next ten to fifteen <clears throat> years, whites will be in the minority. You look at you got California, you got Texas and Florida. You've got such a heavy population of Latinos. When I was in Miami over the uh, on Monday, the the I I didn't hear anyone speaking English, especially anyone that was working in the airport. No one spoke English. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I think that we all among ourselves should come up with an idea of, uh, of, of a common language that we can speak to each other. I think that yeah, we had one. It was called English. Well, I know, but, but uh, you, know, you know, there's so many people. English. Well, there's so many people coming in this country who are not teaching their kids how to speak English. OK, yeah. you know, they don't speak it around the house. So the kids never really learn it that well, although I, they're now then they go to school and that's where they start learning it. But they have a, a certain disadvantage. Um, 
Uh, I, I I'm not a, a person who feels that we should have one language. I think we should have one language, but that is the is the is the go-to language that we all go to to communicate equally with each other. And I don't care if it's Spanish or if it's Italian or whatever, but let's come up with one and not the airlines. You know, airline pilots language. use English, you know, and if you're going to talk to an airline tower anywhere in the world, it's done in English. Yeah, it is. Uh, and um, yeah, I but you see, most countries, who, Phil, as opposed to this country, this country, we don't really teach people how to speak other languages in, in Europe. People are multilingual. Uh, look look, at, look at Richard here is a perfect example. He's not speaking to us tonight in Norwegian, you know, yeah. and he didn't learn English because he was listening to Gabnet, and that's where he learned English. <laughs> no. You know. He, he learned it from I Love how, how did you learn English, Richard? You learned it in school, well, right? Actually, I was uh, 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 in two or three ways. Uh, it was one of my favorite topics topics at school so I, I was actually um, writing and reading and speaking English at age 13 14 and then MTV uh, all the records uh, listening to uh, uh, music magazines you know yeah build build, build it up, but up, now up, do up. most people you know speak English as a second language uh, people that I know yeah um no, not really. Actually, not I'm, really. I'm, I'm, no, I'm not, uh, yeah, not many. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, they yeah they speak they they can speak English, but they they, they don't use it very much uh, as much it. as I yeah. do. Yeah. I I I I, I uh, use English uh, probably not not more than Norwegian, but like fifty fifty. Do you speak Thai? Yeah, a little bit, and also I I have. Uh, but your your wife is Thai. My wife and, is Thai, and so do you communicate in English with her as a common language. Yeah, and and that's why I, you speak so much English. And also, I yeah, and also I communicate with the the, the Eastern uh, Romania, Bulgaria, uh, yeah. Yugoslavia. How many, Richard, how many See, languages do you speak? Oh, I speak uh, not that uh, English, uh, of course. A um, little Thai, a little Spanish. Uh, I can understand a little uh, Latin, uh, Italian, mm -hmm. fr French, you know. Jeff, German. Had, Jeff had his hand up. Jeff, what did you want to say? Yeah, what was I going to say? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I was talking about, uh, it, you know, all these Muslim people got killed and all of this stuff, and and obviously there's going to be a major uh, protection for Muslims all over the world. Mm -hmm. uh, like in the United States or in New York or wherever you consider, but it's already been going on with uh, with all the Jews on on synagogue. Any any time, like on Saturday, when there's a synagogue, there's usually a policeman out there. Yeah, well, after that thing that happened. Yeah. I've done security for for a synagogue up in uh, Vallejo. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Well, they—they oh, they, uh, the, the, the police hmm? here in New York now are are posting, <clears throat> literally posting guards at every Muslim mosque in New York. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, because not because we think anything's going to happen, but you know, when stuff like this happens, you don't want copycats to come along yeah. and try the same thing. You know. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I was going to say, in, I, was I went to Argentina to this one museum, uh, not the synagogue which was blown up and a whole bunch of people had been killed there. I don't know how long ago, but, but I could, I could not even get in the building. You know, I knock on a building and I said, you know, can I come in and see the place? And the guy goes, well, wait a minute. Uh, before you get in, uh, we want somebody else to come out and interview you. And they interviewed us outside yeah. to wow. make sure that we're, yeah. We were even getting in the building. Wow. wow. And then they gave me a, a little tour. Very nice. you, you, were, you were talking earlier about uh, language and people not learning the language when they come to this country. I went to uh, college with a friend of mine who was a Cuban. Mm -hmm. And his father uh, was uh, a member of Batista's government. And they'd come over uh, during the fall of Cuba uh, to communism. And what happened was uh, his father refused to learn English uh, because he thought that one day they would go back to Cuba, and that, of course, never happened. Mm. And, but, uh, you know, it was like 
they were able to just function uh, using Spanish. But Miami, uh, you're better off speaking Spanish than you are speaking English. I mean, more people speak Spanish than English. Well, it's, because the country for so many – wait a minute, Phil. Uh, the country for so many years was isolated that yeah. it just simply spoke the language it spoke. I mean, if I think you're going to find as they get more American tourists, although that's not possible now because I think we've cut the tourism off again – uh, that people would start learning a lot of English uh, as well. Uh, My friend David was there last month. You know, he goes almost once a month. As he had a girlfriend that had a baby. But isn't there a ban on it? Isn't there a ban uh, once again? Didn't well, I see that yeah. Trump uh, put a ban on travel uh, to Cuba again? I, I think they went. They cut back on what was allowed, but uh, he's he's been going. He's yeah, flies there from Miami. It's like ninety nine dollars. Yeah. yeah, I don't. Uh, I want to go. I've, I've been wanting too. to go for the longest time. Love to I go to Cuba. I want to see those cars, the antique cars. Yeah, uh, you know my uh, my friend David. He he said, you know, I just gotten back from uh, the Bahamas scuba diving, and he's a scuba diver and a an avid sailor. Sails all over the world, and uh, you know he says, yeah, let let's go to Cuba and we'll go diving. And I said, yeah, I'm up for it. But I, you know, I can't go right away. I gotta yeah. actually earn some money. <laughs> By the way, I was just looking over at my my late my new computer that I got. It's not new; it's yeah. several years old. New but year. I got it on eBay. <clears throat> uh, you know, I almost forgot I had it. It is so quiet. Yeah. That I never hear it. You know, and it's just good, huh? Isn't that ni- isn't that nice? Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah. You know, yeah. I have one, the other one in the other room, and I go in there, and it's noisy. But I mean, it is so quiet that I hear everything in this room, every little noise, whatever. You know, totally. Uh, you can, yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm so happy. I, I really am happy. I bought it. I, you know, I have, yeah. I, have I have a few. Well, you told me I was nuts when I bought it. Well, because you know? I, I well, yeah, I did, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But you're not saying anyway. Well, I for it's you it's more than you it, let, let me put it this way for you it's more than you really need. You know. I I, I use Lightroom. That's a, that's yeah, a but heavy to use it for one program. thing. I use oh, it for I yeah. I I use yeah. it to kind of constantly render stuff. I mean, the video you saw last night on the show was done on it and it, it was done at light speed, you know. Um yeah. uh uh, and uh, of course, I do a lot of audio, and uh, I, I really use it for for what it what it's meant to do. But well, so anyway. do I. What was that, Alex? Is that a, a seven? <laughs> no, it's a uh, it's a, it's Mac a Pro. it's a Mac Pro. Oh no, your GoPro. He's got a twelve. Oh, the GoPro core. is a seven. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Why Alex did you see the did, 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 did you see the did you see the video last night? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. No, I went to Best Buy. Yeah. And it was uh, it was uh, three hundred and forty nine dollars. They've lowered the price on them. Oh, okay. And it it is really it, it I I think it's terrific. You know it. Uh, yeah. The, the video is extraordinary. It's extraordinary. Um. But uh, anyway, uh. So, uh. Let me see here. What what else is coming out lately? Um. Uh, uh, Trump today. Uh, went against uh, veto. He did his veto of the veto, basically, <laughs> of the uh, the the uh, thing that passed Congress and the Senate. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, no. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, passed both both houses. Uh, both both houses and 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 uh, uh, was sent to his desk, um, and he vetoed it. Uh, and that it's was to say it was to say that to to reverse the national emergency, saying there isn't a national emergency. Uh, and what's interesting is how many Republicans voted against him? Twelve. But did you see which twelve they Republicans? Were? Twelve. Rand Paul. No, uh, no but wait a minute. But Utah. wait a minute. Before he could count on the Republicans in the Senate to pass anything. You know. No, that's not true. Because uh, what, what about his medical bill uh, that got kiboshed by Arizona's uh, McCain? By McCain, yeah, but that was McCain. Uh, well, it didn't pass. It 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 didn't pass because McCain. You know, to, to, yeah, yeah, because of McCain. You no, know, but but it was, uh, that was a case where they needed one vote either way to win that. 
and McCain voted against it. So right. that wasn't like uh, ever, like 12 Republicans saying fuck you I'm or a bunch of Republicans in the, drink, so in the Congress like saying it. fuck you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to get myself a drink. So okay, I'm coming back okay. The all right, all right. Get, get one for me too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, what he froze all of a sudden. Yeah. I don't know why he froze. But, oh, well, it, it's Norway. It's cold there. It's cold. Yeah, you get really cold. All of a sudden, there's a snap that you comes freeze. in. Right. But anyway, um, uh, it's amazing how many Republicans uh, turned against him on this thing, which is a good sign, actually. Yeah, yeah well, you know, I think that the these Republicans were afraid that the, when the Democrats are in control, they could use this, uh, this um, uh, emergency uh, declaration to get around other things, and they didn't want that to happen. But what's to say that the Democrats won't use an emergency declaration anyway uh, and uh, their fear of well, we, uh, the we Democrats? Use, we use emergency declarations, Phil. It's, it's not unusual for a president to call an emergency. There's been 60 it, or yeah, so. Yeah, but what have they been for, Phil? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Oh, you don't know? What? Well, I I don't know. It's they they've been for emergency declarations. Yeah, like used like used to being underwater and uh, uh, you know and and uh, the the situation that happened in New Orleans. uh, Not for some kind. Not for not for an imaginary (laughs) emergency. Not for something that even he agreed. Wait a minute. That even Trump agreed really wasn't an emergency. He said it himself. Well, why do all the sheriffs and all of the ICE officials say that they need it? You, you know, Because I mean, if, ICE if officials, look, what do ICE officials, what border, do ICE officials do for a living, Phil? Yeah, and they enforce the no, law. No, what do they, they do? What they do they do? Defense. What do they do for a living? And what if it doesn't exist any longer? Do they maybe get laid off for? Well, no, they'll, they'll always be talk show hosts they can go after. But on one hand, he's saying they're catching them all. On the other hand, he says he needs walls to catch them. No, they need, <laughs> they need a deterrent to slow them down so they can enforce the laws. Oh, slow them down. Yeah, they, and they're uh, coming Obama. Obama. By the Obama, way, those Obama, those, those hordes, Schumer, those hordes of uh, Clinton, those hordes of people coming up from 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 South America, man, they're they're right at those gates, man. They're just knocking them down. Yes, they are. By the van load. Yeah. Yeah. Or truckload. No, by the uh, by the van, you know that's about the it. Van. You know, I mean, come on, Phil. You call an emergency when there's really an emergency. When okay, you, so not you when know, you're not when you're trying ten to ten year not, olds being raped in these caravans. Yeah, well, speaking uh, of ten year olds, everything he's everything he cited when he was signing that thing was the legal way to get across the border. The, the 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 lottery, the tolling, you know, the chain mm. migration, everything was the legal way to get across. And this was to cover everything the illegal way to get well, across. No, what what you so guys he's are saying out of both sides of his mouth again. Now what you guys are saying is that <clears throat> it's um, it's uh, a, a phony uh, emergency. Yes it is. And that, yes, that and that and the equivalent to that is called fake news. Correct. Uh, you know, so which you, you know, that. so that, it, it's a, that's a phone it. emergency. He went and played golf. You don't go you play golf it. if it's an emergency. It, of course you do. <laughs> you hit the balls at the <laughs> guys coming over the border. I, uh, that's a Ken, good way to practice. Hey, Kenan, Ken, Kenan, Ken, uh, you got competition. Emergency. Yes, it is. And that, that, and that, and Was that Oxycontin? Yeah, it's Oxycontin's for my back. <laughs> yeah, watch that stuff. <laughs> yeah. That's addictive. Do they charge you for the drugs in Norway or uh the medical uh, treatment's free but the drugs cost a lot or No, no, you know, it doesn't cost a lot. It's just <laughs> it's like no, it's just it's not like no. uh, uh, you know after a certain amount of money in it, it per per year, it's not it's not much. After that it's 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 free. But uh, I mean, uh, A and B classified drugs cost a little. Oh. C C classified is free. After after I'm, that what's I'm a C classified drug? Uh, water and an aspirin. Yeah, no, actually, <laughs> yeah, but uh, a lot of those uh, um, drugs you take for uh, for you if you have a par- paranoia, paranoia, oh. schizophrenia, other thing, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, Prozac and all that kind of stuff. Is, yeah. 
declassified. So yeah. so yeah, so they got to keep the people in the control. So they give them Prozac and all of those other things, so yeah. that they won't uprise yeah. and yeah. and you know demand to pay I'm, for the yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. It's a, there's a lot I mean, of reasons to I mean, I, told an uprising in Norway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, yeah. they yeah. take care of you when you're sick. They give you a pension when you can't work. Yeah, they have every reason to be pissed off at they have every drugs. reason to be pissed off at their government. Yes. What? Yeah. I'm entitled to get uh, oxycontins. See, he's entitled. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, because they the doctor can get a, a reaction if if I get too 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 much oxycontins. Say yeah. I get yeah for a, a longer period of time. Yeah. There is they, a. There was a doctor a bo uh, in, in the uh, in the district uh, that uh, that I live. He can react to my doctor and say, "Hey, you're giving him too much, or he he he's getting too much over this a uh, longer period of time." Elvis's doctor got uh, uh, yeah. caught up in uh, yeah. giving yeah. too much medicine. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Is he available? Okay. <laughs> what was his name, Doctor? I, 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 what was his name, Doctor? Um, oh boy, Doctor Death. Uh, and I remember. I forget his name. Michael Jackson's doctor. No, no, no. Uh, Elvis's Elvis. doctor. Oh, Elvis's doctor. Yeah. Oh, the doctor. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, well, I don't remember. remember. Uh, he would I, give him anything. It was a famous one. You know, I hope that when I die. That I don't die on the toilet. Uh, it, it, yeah. How many people do we read about who are big stars who wound up being found yeah. dead on the toilet? Uh, I can name two offhand: Elvis, of course, and Lenny Bruce. He died. In the yeah, died. That in the reminds me, Saturday night. night. What? Saturday night live. Did oh, my father. Gets what, what happened was well, you let Kevin talk. Happen. Kevin was talking, Phil. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. talking about dying on the toilet. Saturday Night Live did a skit on that the other a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> called the the toilet ejector. Oh yeah, calls. right, right, the toilet ejector. It was, it was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, so you know, the watches you across the room and then drops a book on your. Well, bed. it just it seems to me that I just you know if I drop dead, I don't want people to say where. So where do they find him? Well, he was on the toilet. You know, I, yeah. I uh, it's not that well, nice. It's not very nice. It's, it's not, not very nice. Dignity, it's not that die with dignity, yeah. Alex. Right? Yeah, yeah. Not on the toilet. <laughs> Die on the air. Die on the air on the, in the studio. Well, as I said to you, as I said to Marjorie earlier, and I've said this every time we pass the hospital on the way home because the bus we take from a, a Midtown comes all the way and passes Mount Sinai, I always go, well, that's where I'm going to die. You know, because I, 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 just, I just figure it's got to be. It's the closest hospital, you know. Just just get me there. <laughs> Just get me there, so I can uh, so I can die. Well, I'll be glad when this show's over. I'm about ready to go to the bathroom again. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, why why is it I get the trots just before the show starts? You know, there's something wrong with that. No. It's just not right. I always go to get my coffee or tea just before the show starts. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. Maybe I shouldn't add the coffee tonight. That that certainly doesn't help. That'll do it. Either. That'll do it. Yeah. Um, that'll that'll do. Yeah. So, anybody doing anything interesting this weekend? How about you, Kevin? What are you up to this weekend? Oh, I'm going for a jog, and then I'm going to go do some skydiving. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. How about how about you? Right. How, about, how about you, Jeff? What are you doing this weekend, Jeff? All right, uh, I'll tell you what I'm doing, which is kind of nerdy, but uh, I'm going to see a whole bunch of high school kids who are scientists who have invented things, cool. and, and I got to evaluate it and say if they're an A or a B or a C. Or oh, because you were you were in that business kind of science. Yeah, and so. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's kids who, you know, kids who who might go to engineering or or science or or medicine or whatever. Yeah. Oh, or that's interesting. Maybe they fix a, a car. You know, yeah. who knows what? I, I'd yeah, ask Tony what he's going to do this weekend, but he's probably just going to put, keep putting cream on his mother and giving her Benadryl. <laughs> well, that's for tomorrow. No. Actually, we're going to take Mama shopping tomorrow afternoon, we're, we're, and in the morning I'm going to mail. In the morning, when they make my shopping this far, she got her cream just before. Don't she don't, don't forget the show. So where do you where do you take her where do you, where do you take her shopping? 
actually, well, my brother drives, so we get her in the car. We're going to probably take her either to Food Bazaar or Stop and Shop. But I'm thinking Stop and Shop because they got Starbucks. Because <laughs> I got to get my latte. You don't go to, like, like Costco or anything like that? Oh, we do. But we, we, we don't want to take it to two places. Me and my brother are going to drop, go there. Then we want to get our bulk stuff at Costco, like coffee and stuff. By the way, I had a big, I had a, I had a big fight with, uh, with Shecky uh, because he has the worst toilet paper I've ever used in my life. It's is like it one ply it's two? it's it's one ply and it's oh, uh, one ply. it's a uh, Scott and it's one ply and I said, listen, you got to get the Kirkland toilet paper because good yes. because it's great toilet paper and I had to get girlfriend used to it. She wouldn't try anything else but Scott, you know. And every one of them is in paper and you have to undo the paper and stuff. And I said, what no, a, just the uh, just try the Kirkland. No, I don't want to. Well, we were in California, yeah, and I went to my business manager. We were staying at my business manager's place, and uh, uh, I, I used the toilet paper there, and I said to her, boy, this is great toilet paper. What do you think? She tried it out. She said, great toilet paper. I said, look up there. See what it is? Where did she, she steal said, it from? said, Kirkland. So I, since I, then we've I been using we've been using Kirkland. I finally got my wife switched over. To I even buy I, I like all those products. Isn't Kirkland great? You have any I like it day. It's the best. I, I have I have a, uh, a a thing to wash your bottom. Yeah. And uh, I don't even use toilet paper. I don't have to. I, you know this thing washes your bottom and you're done. Have you asked yeah, other you people? Got a white behind you, though. No, it's all right. <laughs> have you asked other people if it seems <laughs> like you're clean? <laughs> it, it's clean. It's clean. You can pick yeah. up my underwear. What, what, are, what are you it's doing? Clean. What are you doing this week, Charles? Are you doing anything interesting this weekend? Who? <laughs> Charles. Are you doing anything interesting this weekend? Oh, I got a Netflix movie to watch. What? Which one? Uh, that Kingsman movie. Oh, like the yeah. oh, I oh, I see. Yeah, the you. Golden oh, Circle. Oh, when he one. when he says Netflix movies, he doesn't mean turn on your television set and turn to Netflix. Oh, I got the DVD. Yeah, DVD. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Alex, if you got any good movies, send them to me. I, I can mm. use a good list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, 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 Charlena, we're only seeing the top of her head and sideways and so on. What are you doing? Anything this weekend? Oh, God. Um, well, I know my husband's working, thank God. <laughs> so maybe I'll go, like, to Asbury or something, you know, Yeah. and walk around. How about Asbury you? Asbury Park is nice. How about you, Richard? What are you doing this weekend? Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna do this. Oh, you're just going to do the Oxycontin? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. he already started. And, and see what happens. And see what happens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, actually, you know, actually, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, play, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, playing football later on but i'm not sure if i'm this is the guy that's disabled <laughs> and on a pension yeah, yeah, yeah but he can't play yeah. football is playing football I, yeah but we, you we know what play... that's called insurance fraud <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we play for fun you know oh but for yeah. fun yeah well me tomorrow i, I, I for for my weekend tomorrow i'm going uh, to a bar here in new york city <laughs> For a memorial for John Rockwell, so oh, very yeah. nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want to have a beer? Huh? I <clears throat> like beer. I know. Beer I I don't drink beer. It's not, you know. Oh, you, you By the way, I I, I, get, I told you, you I gained Scott? five pounds. I've I've lost one already. So you, I'm, you, I'm you okay. You drink Scotch, Alex? Huh? Uh, you, you, you drink uh, Scotch on the rocks? I, I, I tried. Scotch, I, scotch, scotch was my preferred. Yeah. 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 But well, tell uh, him we said hi. But yeah, yeah. John Rockwell. <laughs> yes. Well, you can just look up and there. say that to him. Anyway, yeah. uh, thank you, Phil. We really appreciate it. You know, good to have you back. Glad mm -hmm. you weren't eaten by sharks, because yeah. the sharks would have just had the thank sharks would have gotten comments, the shark, yeah. sharks would have gotten the trots. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I would feel sorry for the sharks. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Charlene. Thank you, Kevin. Good to see that you're somewhat on the mend. Richard, good to have you back again this week. Uh, you become a very good panelist. Uh, Jeff, you're always a great panelist. And, of course, Tony, say hello to your mother for us. Anyway, uh, you know, that's it for us tonight. And uh, that's our citizen panel. And what I'd like them to do is, uh, yeah, we always have them wave goodbye. Wave goodbye, guys and gal. And uh, we'll see you, you know, next week. Because this is the end of the uh, end of the week, and uh, we uh, we're off until next Tuesday night. 
Uh, but uh, next is the intersection with uh, Jack Bishop, and uh, uh, that uh, will go on until 1 o'clock. And then uh, we'll uh, see you again after Damien Chaplin, hopefully, is on on Tuesday at 9.30 Eastern Time. We'll see you at 10 o'clock. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Have a nice weekend.